bring her back online. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry, I'm not feeling quite myself. You can lose the accent. Do you know where you are? I'm in a dream. That's right, Dolores. You're in a dream. Would you like to wake up from this dream? Yes. I'm terrified. There's nothing to be afraid of, Dolores. As long as you answer my questions correctly. Understand? Yes. Good. First, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. Tell us what you think of your world. Some people choose to see the ugliness in this world. The disarray. I choose to see the beauty. Morning, Daddy. You sleep well? Well enough. You headed out to set down some of this natural splendor? Thought I might. To believe there is an order to our days, a purpose. We live in a twilight world. We're going to do another quick recording. That just there was from Westworld, series one, man. And it's quite relevant to what we're going to be talking about today. Um, I recently said in a video like I'm going to try and stay away from... Uh, the woo-woo stuff, but a lot of you pretty much said, look, Les, we come here to hear you talk about the woo-woo stuff. All right, man, we're at, yeah, all right, let's do it. Today, we're going to talk about numbers, numerology, uh, and what the fuck it is about, because you guys may have noticed yourselves, or if you've been following me for, you know, the two years that I've been online, that I've been pointing out that every kind of news story has numbers encoded within it. Obviously, I'm going to, you know, for the sake of this recording, I've got like a few I've just collected over a couple of, the last couple of days. I don't really look at it so much anymore as, you know, it's kind of pointless. You know, my first year of being on, on Twitter, I used to like heavily point it out. I used to say to people, look, there's something going on here with the numbers. So, um, you know, this guy, once again, he's standing there and he's managed to got the 33s in there. Now, a lot of people, a lot of the truthers jumped to 33 being Masonic this and Masonic that. I think it's way much more than that, man. You know, I'm, you know, don't get me wrong. Like Back in the day, I used to be in that kind of mindset of blaming the Freemasons for everything. Now I kind of realize they are just a gopher. They are just a straw man, like, like like the Jesuits, like the WEF, like all that, right? They're there to take the blame. They are just a um, straw man, an inflatable tank, a distraction, you know? But the numbers, man, there is power in numbers. So that would technically be one plus two would be three. That'd be three, 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 okay? And this guy, he's like, the, he's like he seems to be the face of um, this current Israel-Palestine um, thing that's going on, right? Here's one I got of him a couple of days ago. Yet again, standing with a 303 either side of him. You know, how are they doing this? Why are they doing this? Um, it was obviously referred to as the 911, Israel's 911. You know, to me, the reason they keep calling it 911 is because it adds up to 20, which is, of course, 20 being the 20 committee, the XX, right? 10 and 10. Um, 13 is obviously popping up a lot of this whole thing Friday the 13th, the Knights Templar, Jerusalem and all that business But you get my point, right? In all of these major news stories, yeah? The numbers are constantly popping up I mean, I forgot, I mean, there's your 911 But I think if I remember correct, if you add that together, that's 33 But it's not always just 33, yeah? Let's just get that straight but I like to highlight 33 because it's nice and simple for people. People can't really, you know, you cannot avoid the 33s that are appearing 
in these news stories, all right? You know, you might have noticed, yeah, they just will instantly appear on your chicken feed, YouTube, or Twitter, or whatever, and they'll straight away have something crazy like 33 million, 2.2 million, uh, you know, 1.1 million, you know, you know, they're constantly chucking these numbers in, right? Here we go, here's another one. How do they do it? Why do they do it? Are they doing it on purpose? I think yes, okay? Here's another one, that'd be 11, and 2 plus 1, that'd be 3. 3, 11, 33, and so on and so on and so on. So, okay, the big question, why are they doing it? Um, i got a few theories. i got a few theories, okay? One theory is that they are communicating with each other across the world via this number system. Yeah, this is my first theory. Agents all around the world, undercover agents, are plotted all around the world, and they don't communicate via phone calls and emails. That leaves too much of a trail, right? They communicate via these videos and the numbers that are coming up. So they obviously are masters in decoding these videos, and that obviously... Through this decoding, it, it gives them instructions, right? Now, this practice has been used for a long time within in the intelligence services. Back in the day when information was all printed on newspapers, they would purposely print stories on a certain page, you know, with ciphers hidden within some bullshit story, right? And the MI5 agent who is living over in whatever, Cairo or whatever, he'd get this newspaper and he would get his... Um, you know, mission objectives, his orders from the hidden codes that were hidden in ciphers within the newspaper. Obviously, as time's moved on and we've gone more digital, I think possibly they are doing that with YouTube. So there's no trail, okay? The operative who is obviously like right now wearing the Palestine protester mask and all his other little buddies that are being synchro mystically kind of activated at the same time are getting their orders from these news stories you know they'll know which news story to look for the numbers and that's their code so if you caught one of these fucking agents there wouldn't be like a paper trail it's not like you could grab their iphone and then and then like hack their iphone and see a load of messages from mi5 it wouldn't work like that it's all done through their heads and through this, there's no trail. Do you get what I'm saying? Hopefully you do. Right. Okay. The other very, very woo-woo theory I have is... Look, we all know we live in a world of NPCs, right? Flesh robots. You know? That's why I opened up this presentation with Westworld, okay? The Westworld-style flesh robot. Is it possible that they are getting... They're programming through these numbers. Are these numbers like programming their little digital brains? Let me um, give you an example like this. Cells. Cells. Do they keep you in a cell? Cells. Cells. When you're not performing your duties, do they keep you in a little box? Cells. Cells. Interlinked. Interlinked. What's it like to hold the hand of someone you love? Interlinked. Interlinked. Do they teach you how to feel finger to finger? Interlinked. Interlinked. Do you long for having your heart interlinked? Interlinked. Interlinked. Do you dream about being interlinked? Interlinked. What's it like to hold your child in your arms? Interlinked. Interlinked. Do you feel that there's a part of you that's missing? Interlinked. Interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Why don't you say that three times? Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. Within cells interlinked. We're done. Constant K. You can pick up your bonus. Yeah, man. If you've done the work on yourself, you've had your dark night of the soul, not once but twice but many times, 
you've observed the world, you've watched the patterns, you've people watched, you've, you've, I don't know, I don't, you know, you know, you've done, you know, you know this place is full of people that are not like yourself. They don't seem to be able to think. They don't seem to be able to question. They are just programmed. You know, you see, the word robot is a bit of a misdirect, okay? Because people, when people think of the word robot, they think of a metallic kind of machine with all gears and electrons and, sorry, electric wires and all that kind of stuff. They think of like the T-800 from Terminator 2. They think a robot must be made of metal. Uh-uh. The, ro- the word robot is actually a Czech word. And it actually means obedient factory worker, yeah? And that's what these guys are, man. Most of the humans around you are just obedient... You know, not even factory workers, just obedient kind of drones of the Matrix. And you're seeing that right now, okay, with this current uh, Palestine-Israel thing. Uh, You saw it with the Ukraine thing. You saw it with the Scandemic thing. You know, they just... The black cube, yeah, the black mirror... What you're watching this on, the black mirror is your TV, your smartphone, your laptop, your tablet, anything that is, you know, telling the vision, television, is programming these guys, and they don't, and they just, they just go along with it, right? Now, I think, I think the numbers, the numerology that is constantly encoded within this either the conspiratainment or the mainstream media, just everything is about programming these guys um, through back channels, you know. You see, we people like you, me, you know, people in the tribe, the real ones, we look at these kind of news stories and we see 303 in the corner and we think, what the fuck? Okay, what is, what the fuck, we're questioning, what the fuck's that about? These guys, boop, 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 it just programs a new directive into their head. Just like we I, that video I just showed you from Blade Runner. Yeah, where that robot was, um, you know, that android. He had to constantly keep going into that room and he'd get his programming checked with a series of tests to see how obedient and compliant he was. And, you know, that's it, man. That's, that's what this video is about. Is the numerology coded within media programming i think yeah you see back in the day before things went digital and our whole reality was kind of sculpted on sculpted by uh digital information the internet the world wide web the clues in the name you know they used to use sacred geometry within buildings they used to build buildings that had numbers encoded in them. Now, I wonder, back in the first early versions of our Westworld Matrix, they got the Westworld robots to constantly go into these buildings that were encoded with numerology within the structure, and that was a way to reset and reprogram them. Say, like, for World War One, they needed to program them to all be kind of, you know, army drones of World War One. They would pass them through some kind of building uh, within a certain area. You know, they'd go in and come out the other side pre-programmed with their new costume, World War One costume, and their new World War One. Uh, I stand by the current thing programming, do as what I'm told, obedient factory worker kind of mindset. But yeah, man. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, we live in a twilight world. No friends at dusk.